Hey, welcome to February. Happy, happy Thursday to you guys. We're all in a, we're in a whole new month. And so, wow, what a, what a great day. What a great time. And so we're going to talk about, we've been talking about love all week. Uh, today, we're going to talk about loving people, you know, loving people. And I'm going to read this from Matthew chapter 22. He says, but when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees with his reply, they met together to question him again. And one of them, an expert in religious law, tried to trap him with this question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? Jesus said this, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. He says, this is the first and greatest commandment. And the second, second is equally important. Love your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the commandments depends or hangs on the prophets of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Love God, love people. So why are we to love? John chapter 13. This is so good. John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. Jesus says, so now I'm going to give you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as, just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world, will prove to the world that you are my disciples. So the love I have for my fellow man, the love I have for my neighbor is really should be a demonstration to the rest of the world that I am truly a follower or a disciple of Jesus Christ. So the first thing we see about loving one another is that one, it's a commandment. It's not a suggestion. It's, it's not something you do when you feel like it. No, it's a commandment from Almighty God. First John chapter three says it like this. This is his commandment. We must believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and, and love one another just as he commanded us. So why are we to love? Because Jesus commanded us to love. Let's not, let's not try to get out of this. I know sometimes people don't do right and they do wrong stuff and they do mean stuff, but you have to have in your heart of hearts, you know, I'm gonna love that person. I'm gonna forgive that person. I'm not gonna hold a grudge against that person. I'm gonna pray for that person. And because love is an indispensable mark of a true Christian. So if you're a believer, you gotta love people. If you are a Christian, if you are a person in ministry, you got to love people. Whoever you are, if we're, if we're serving God in any capacity, as an a usher or as a, a person on the stage, serving the kids in the parking lot, we have to make sure we're loving people. Why is that it's so important? Because God's love is truly a gift to us. It's in us, but we need to release it. Release that love that he has for you through words. Release it through actions. And left dormant, guess what? It'll become stagnant like a pool of water with no outlet. And so 1 John chapter 3 says it like this in verse 14. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love, ooh, abides in death. We don't want that. So life in this verse is the life of God. The life as God has it, or Zoe kind of life. And loving others is the only way to keep that kind of life, that kind of life flowing through us. So I, I got to love to keep that love, that the life of God flowing through us. You know, I, I, I read an article by Joyce Meyer, and she, she gave this, this challenge. She says, think of three people you know who could really use a gesture of God's love. Then think of creative ways you can express his love to these people and do it. I guarantee you, you will feel a wonderful sense of fulfillment and joy afterward. I encourage you to take the challenge. I'm going to take the challenge and let us know about it. So thank you for joining us on this Thursday edition of the Faith for Today podcast. Have a great Thursday. 